Hey, what is going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at Mac OS X Tiger on an unsupported 2008 MacBook Air which came with Leopard. So, we have it on a USB over here and we're going to fire up the computer now. So firstly we have the 5 flashing SMC which just indicates a battery issue. And then... screen turns on, we have our startup chime and we're just holding down option to boot into the USB. So as you can see we have Tiger over here. Like I said before, this computer originally came with 10.5.1 or 10.5.2 Leopard. So we're going to load it up. We have our Apple logo. It only takes around a minute or so to actually boot up, so we just let it wait. So we have starting Mac OS X. Now as you can see, we were successfully able to boot up into OS X Tiger. But one thing you'll notice is the cursor is actually one of the older Mac OS cursors. This is mainly because there's no compatible graphics drivers with this current MacBook Air that will actually work on Tiger. So we only have the basic graphics, which do not support OpenGL. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into Apple about this Mac. And as you can see, it is Mac OS 10.4.11, 1.8 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Dual, and 2 gigs of RAM, DDR2. And we can just see MacBook Air 1.1. I directly copied this Tiger boot image from a Mac Mini that I own. So, like I said, MacBook Air 1.1. And I think this is the only MacBook Air model that unofficially supports Tiger because the ones with DDR3 RAM do not boot with Tiger on it. So, let's see what actually works. So if we were to open up QuickTime, we would have our loading and get connected to, doing, to the internet. But what we can do is go into and find the uh, macOS intro video and see if that actually plays very smoothly. So we can find it in the setup assistant, contents, resources, Transition section, contents, resources, intro, right here. And we're going to press play. Well, it looks like it's actually pretty smooth. Surprisingly, with the limited graphics. So there's that. So we can close QuickTime. Now, applications such as iMovie, iDVD, and GarageBand simply do not work because of the strong graphics capabilities. But maybe we should try GarageBand in this case. Initializing. We're going to make a new music project. Now, one thing that I will mention is sound and Wi-Fi both actually work on this version of on the MacBook Air. So clearly this works. Now let's see if the keyboard actually works. So we'll switch it to musical typing. Looks like GarageBand actually works. Let's see if some of the loops are there. It's relatively slow over here. And we'll just use a drum kit.
It's actually really smooth over here as well. Like you'd think it'd be laggy because of the limited graphics and no OpenGL, but evidently that's not the case. So we'll close that. And we're gonna open up a Microsoft Word document. So I have the full Microsoft Office 2004 test drive, I believe, which is usually what comes with 10.4.10. So we agree to the terms and service without even reading it as usual. Yeah, whatever. Right now it's installing the fonts. While it does that, we're gonna open up the dashboard. So the dashboard doesn't have any of the full graphics, but as you can see, the clock works. And if we open up, like say ESPN and drag it, just like that, there's no bubbly effect that usually happens because you need OpenGL enabled graphics for it. Now, if we go into applications, we have iTunes, which evidently works. We can just open up the app and it's like it's a bit slow. Welcome to iTunes, cancel. What do you know? It says the test drive has expired. So that was essentially running Mac OS X Tiger on an unsupported MacBook Air. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video.